<laughs> oh, oh yeah. You need to try my new slammers. I like them. You do? They're super. They don't go anywhere, but it's a good thing. They don't glide in a good way, though. Try one more. Not bad out of the gate. No, hit the island. I like that right side, I guess. <laughs> Throw one more. Those or those? That was a harp. Okay. Yeah. Slammer doesn't quite have enough glide, I don't think. This one might. It might, that one might, yeah. Oh. All right, we good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so what are we doing out here, Rick? So we're just going to play 18 holes out here at Jones. I'm going to throw some shots, kind of talk, talk you guys through what, um, what goes through my head when I'm pre pre preparing for a tournament like Worlds, you know? Got the first hole here, island hole. Uh, I'm going to throw a couple harp shots. Got, some, got a little bit of crosswind, so I'm just kind of seeing what my disc does in the, in the crosswind. And that way, when I step, step up to the tournament, I know exactly what this kind of wind is going to do in this situation. So. I'm learning something on every hole, paying attention to the wind, paying attention to how my disc reacts in the wind. Sweet. And we're trying something out a little different today. I'll be following Rick along with a mic, going handheld and uh, trying a new style. A little busy here it's today. Funny. Yeah, it's pretty busy. The country club is uh, isn't open till three, so everyone's over here practicing before they can go over there. It's funny, actually, my arm. I have like a dead arm. I went to practice yesterday at Hammond Park nine hole course, and I was uh, literally putting for like two hours to the point where now my shoulder literally barely like <laughs> barely like works. So I've been that's where I've actually been noticing that's where my shoulder pain's coming from. I'll practice so much that I'll actually get a dead arm. And that's what's been happening in the last couple of weeks is I, I just figured I put two and two together. I'll go on these like two, two and a half hour putting, putting sessions and literally the next day I can't even move my, my shoulder. Just so much, yeah, just, just extending your arm and going through the motion Overuse, probably thousands repetition. of times, yeah. just you know, it takes its toll. So, but it'll heal in a couple of days and I'll be back to normal. And then I'll probably just tone it down to 20 minutes, maybe <laughs> three times a day instead of all at once. So I'm gonna kind of throw a shot. I wanna try, pr try and be like 30 feet right of those flags is a good landing spot because then it opens up the fairway. If you go too far right, it adds for a tricky shot. Um, so I'm gonna try to try to hit that landing zone and leave myself a good second shot into the fairway. Pretty good. Try one more. Yeah, I zoomed all the way in on the camera and nice. I still wasn't that it. close. Heck yeah. Let's try one more. I try to throw a very similar shot. If I can repeat that shot every time in this hole, that's just what I'm going for. Sit. So that one's OB left. The wind kind of carried that a little bit, a little bit of a tailwind making them overstable. So. That's a fine line between the first one and the second ones. Yeah, a lot of holes out here are bomber holes, but you still have to hit the angle of the shot and land in the landing zone. If you miss the angle of the shot, it's almost worse than hitting a tree on a, on a wooded course because you're OB. Whereas on a wooded course, you just hit a tree and you're dropped, can still throw a shot. Here, you're, you're having to take a penalty stroke. So it's uh, detrimental if you miss drives out here. I'll try to throw a little left to right fairway driver down this gap. That's pretty money. Try one more. This is a pretty common spot to land, so I'm going to practice a couple shots from here. 
I'm not just throwing shots randomly. I'm throwing shots from areas that I feel like are high probability of me landing there. So that way I can get the reps in. So I'll try one more. Ah, uh, get up. See, that's the problem with that shot is it's just hard to get any height because if you, hit, you throw it too high, you hit the tree. Throw it too low, you hit there. So it's just a tough shot. Now I'm going to practice a shot that I threw good. That was like a mediocre second shot. This would be where I land if I throw a good second shot. Oh, too high. Yeah, that's money. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, one more. <laughs> that's probably in that bush. Yeah, that's in that bush. You don't want to be in that bush. Up there? You can get. I, I tuned it last at the DDO. But it was a long putt. It was like an 80 footer, 100 footer. Yeah. You might be able to. See y'all. See, like you see, this shot is not good. This is where my second drive landed. It'd be cooked right here. No shot. So you gotta watch out for that. The first one I did throw, it went to the right of it. So that's a great thing. It's got a wide open, easy three pretty much. What are you throwing here? So these are Raiders, my Lucid Raiders, Ricky Raider. Um, these are, these are my money go-tos lately. Sweet. So I got through two of those up there and try a couple up shots. Oh, that was not it. Exact same shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw a better one here. That's better. All right, so <laughs> that shot's super easy. I just made it look hard. My <laughs> shoulder like makes, it, it's really messing up my, my game right now, but it'll heal. It's just a type of injury that's overused. All right, this whole par four, dog leg right and then back left. I'm really just trying to throw that lone tree down there. There's a little, uh, it's a pro tip, but if you can throw like 500 feet, the OB kind of cuts back. So I'm really just focused on throwing right at that tree with a nice, hard, pretty hard shot so I can reach that, that uh, opening over there. Pretty much exactly what I wanted. You saw how it drifted right at that tree and then hyzered in front of it. That's money spot. Try that one more with the Raider. Same, trying for the same shot. The biggest variable on this hole, on the second shot, is that big tree right there on the left-hand side. If you hyzer off too early and short, you're completely blocked by that. So that's why I'm trying to play to the right. So it sets up my second shot to be wide open, have the highest percentage for birdie. So this is a bomb, sets up a pretty high percentage uh, shot to get a three, which is what you're looking for. That's a tree you want to get around on the drive. If you're short of it, it's really tough. So I'm gonna try a slammer. We're about 180 to 200 feet away. 
Try a slammer shot. Perfect. You guys notice that's why I love the slammer so much. As soon as it hit the ground, it stuck. It stuck. It did not. It did not skip. It didn't roll. It just stuck right there. So it's just like playing lawn darts at the basket. That's what a slammer is all about. Let's try another lawn dart. Lawn dart. Now go in. Oh, see, it hit right under it, and didn't didn't bounce more than a foot after it hit the ground. Try one more. Same thing, another slammer, boing. That one skipped a little bit, but that's just because I had it on a little bit more hyzer. So if I hit land with hyzer, it's gonna skip a little bit, but as you saw, maybe like two feet of action on the ground, not much. So that's huge, hugely why I love the slammer. That's how you three this hole with a slammer and a dagger and a raider. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of the spot. This one I'm gonna throw a nice felon down the right hand side over the bridge. Try to just throw it nice and flat over the bridge and let it kind of naturally just drift, which is what the felon wants to do. So you gotta keep this one kind of low, which is what's tough because the ceiling, but you also wanna get up the hill into the basket. So I'm gonna try to throw it pretty hard into the hill and just kind of hopefully slither up there. Ah, just caught that tree coming in. Try one more. This one is. Give me hyzer flip a little more. That's better. Right over the bridge. Skip up to it. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> just like I talked about. Haha. <laughs> so this is crazy. This is like the worst possible spot. I'm like circle's edge and I have a big fat tree right in the way. So got to kind of keep that in mind. I want to hyzer out a little bit more so I can land somewhere over here and have an easier putt. And they have open putt, you make putts. <laughs> All right, so I got a question that a lot of people probably want to know. Yeah. What footwear are you selecting for Worlds this so year? So Nike Wild Horses. Love the tread. So as you can see, it's got pretty aggressive tread, but it's also enough to where you don't grip too much. So when you're throwing a shot, you rotate, it lets you rotate. It doesn't stick. So I've seen some shoes are too grippy and then everything rotates and you blow out your knee because it doesn't allow your body to rotate through. So Nike Wild Horses is what I'm going through, going with. You hear that, Nike? <laughs> Let's get it. Um, so this hole like this, I'm gonna throw a couple side arms and a couple backhands. Just because I wanna throw a couple backhands because if my side arm's off during the tournament, I wanna make sure I have a secondary plan. Um, so that way I can, this will allow me to do that if I throw both shots. Coming in. Four. So now I'm gonna try a backhand just because I wanna make sure I have both shots dialed. Like I said, if my side arm's not feeling it, I can step up and throw the backhand as well. Sit, don't go in the water, please. I might go in. Go in. Oh, oh my oh. God. Do you see that? It was right dude. behind it, dude. That was, I thought that was in. So, yeah. Now we throw in a mid range, we're throwing a putter, we're throwing side arms. No matter what situation or how our game's feeling, we're ready for this hole. You find a bunch of, what's up? What? Yeah, I'll give you a hundo if you make it. Yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> that was way closer than I wanted. Oh man. What's up guys? What the? What's the play here? So I'm just gonna force like a nice Annie driver. Try to keep it to the right. The OB's left and it's pretty easy to hyzer out if you don't control your angle. So I'm just gonna throw down the gut, keep it on this Annie angle the whole way. Oh, so I just started it too wide. It's a good angle, just started it too far left. So try a couple more. There we go. So I just kind of kept the angle and then at the very last second, highs are out. That's what I'm looking for. My felon, these are the new Lucid Glimmer ice. Throw these on a little flex line. See what uh, kind of distance control we can get up there. Just trying to throw it like two feet right of that pole and then highs are back towards the bucket. Looks like a little short, so I'm gonna throw one more. That's better. Huh, that may still be a little short. Need a little more glide. Those ones don't glide a bunch, which is good for certain shots, but shot like this, I need a little bit more glide, so I'm gonna try my little bit more broken and lucid felon. Yeah, that's better. More pin high. Have you ever tried the hyzer on the right? <laughs> and then these all the slammers and felons are right here. Pretty much parked, so got the, I feel like I got this hole pretty dialed. But once again, I'm gonna try to throw a couple backhands, a couple sidearms, that way once again, if my sidearm's not feeling it, I can still uh, have some reps with the backhand. I'm not panicking. Pretty much perf. Now, why would you pick a mid over what you just threw? So if I'm if I'm playing around and my sidearm's just off for whatever reason, I don't want to be you know forcing a sidearm if my sidearm's not feeling great. So I want to have the backhand dialed just in case so that way it's game is, time decision, whichever one's feeling more comfortable. Is the mid range to mitigate going too far? Yeah. Yep. So I'll try the mid and then I'll try a fairway as well. Awesome. That was that was just too stable, too high. I'll try one more with the mid. I think the mid's a play with no wind. Just gotta throw at the right angle. That wasn't the right angle. Is all. What mid you got? Compass. Nice smooth compass shot. Should get me up there. Ah, I'm just not turning it. Yeah, there's a little bit of a little bit of a crosswind coming this way, so that's why my high, my attempts at a turnover aren't turning over. Uh, the, the crosswind just keeping them hyzer, and so that's something obviously I have to pay attention to if I end up doing do throwing that shot. So sidearms right here are gonna hit here a lot and just kind of Velcro, so I'm gonna take some putts from here. It's pretty long grass, so you throw a nice sidearm and it doesn't skip, this is a pretty common spot.
hopefully that's a common result too. Three for three, let's go. All right, hold nine is a smooth ante off the tee. Probably, you don't need to throw as far as you can, but the farther you throw it, the easier the second shot is. So there's a tree on the right-hand side of the fairway. I'm just kind of trying to throw just past it with some turn to land in the sweet spot and set up a slammer up shot. Oh, wow, that turned too much. You saw I turned that and cut rolled it, but just trying to turn it too much. So this next one I'm not going to throw with as much turn. That's better. That's a great spot. I like that. Now this one I'm going to try to throw a little more turn than the other two. Yeah. That's juicy. I literally just missed that last tree and pretty much any, this is a, I don't want to say easy. I hate that word because you still have to throw a good shot to even on an easy, easy hole. You still have to execute. So in your head, if you think it's easy, that's just, that's just your mind getting, you know, lackadaisical and that's setting yourself up to mess up an easy shot, which should be. So treat every shot like it's hard. It's going to try to throw it, throw it right into the hill and kind of skip up to it. That's my goal. Or just go straight in the hole. <laughs> or straight at the pin and hit it. <laughs> that works too. Um, try one more. That was fun. <laughs> Tree. Yeah, I knew it. You know what? I'm going to try to throw a straight uh, left to right shot with the harp. Just try to slide one up off that hill and up there. See, that's all right. It's still 20, but where I'm hitting right there is about 20 feet short. So, so now you can see what I'm talking about here. These two trees are on the green. So if you hit them, you're not doing the worst, but you don't want to hit them and bounce over here like I did with my mid range. Then you're forced with a lot longer of a putt, which I can make, but. Ah, oh, man. Oh, nice roll. Ah. Uh, but yeah, this is the, seems like the collection zone for most of my up shots. So take some putts from here. There's someone behind us, so we'll keep moving, but that's where I normally would putt from. 